I'm Jonathan Downey, the founder and CEO of Airware, and I have with me today Jack Weeks, who is an operations vice president at State Farm and who leads State Farm's innovation team. Welcome, Jack. It's good to be here, Jonathan. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about how innovation works its way into the fabric of so much of what State Farm is doing and plays into State Farm's success? Innovation is imperative. We were founded in 1922, and we've become the leader in auto insurance, homeowner's insurance, and life insurance. And we've done that by finding ways of better meeting our customers' needs. And that means understanding how customers' needs are evolving and understanding how evolving technology can help us better meet those needs. We're thrilled to work with a company like Airware, which is helping keep us on the cutting edge of technology. And how are commercial drones going to be playing into the insurance market? How are they part of this technological innovation? Well, I think others in the industry probably look at it similarly, but let me comment from State Farm's perspective. We respond and help customers when the unexpected happens. Picture, for example, a catastrophe situation where a tornado might go through a neighborhood and cause a catastrophic amount of damage. What typically happens in that kind of a chaotic situation is it can take hours or even days for a State Farm claim professional to get in and survey the extent of the damage. Picture being able to send an unmanned aerial vehicle up to immediately survey the damage, figure out through GPS technology exactly where the State Farm insured homes are, and send in our claims professionals to immediately help getting that customer's life restored and back on track again. It could be the remarkable claims experience that we're constantly striving for. So we're really excited about the power of aerial technology to help us better respond to our customers' needs. Picture another more routine kind of a situation, hail damage. Uh, Hailstorms go through areas from time to time. And rather than having to send somebody up on a roof, we might be able to just have them stay on the ground, survey the extent of the damage on the roof, um, and get a, an objective record of what was actually seen on that roof so that we can show the homeowner what we see. So we're excited about the potential of the technology to help us respond in better, faster, more seamless ways for the customer. It sounds like that customer experience is so crucial to almost everything that State Farm is doing. Could you tell us a little bit more about how the customer experience could be improved by State Farm leveraging drones potentially? Sure, a lot of it has to do with just how, how quickly we can respond. So um, picture that catastrophe situation again. Rather than wait for a customer to call State Farm and say, I've, I've suffered some sort of a loss, we could actually survey the extent of damage that a customer has and respond to them before they even have a chance to notify us. So picture that catastrophic situation that we talked about before. Unmanned aerial systems could survey the extent of the damage, contact the customer, a claim professional could go in and, and talk to the customer about what that claims experience is like. Uh, a check could be deposited in a customer's bank account. We could help a customer secure temporary lodging if need be. All of this because we're aware of what's happened before our customers even had to reach out and let a State Farm agent or a State Farm claims representative know that. How is State Farm testing commercial drone technology today? Well, we were very excited back in 2015 when the FAA granted State Farm an exemption to be able to do R&D testing I believe you were the first uh, insurance company to get that e exemption, right? We were, yeah. We were quite proud of that. And then others have quickly followed suit as well. I think a lot of people see the potential in using drone technology as a tool in our everyday claims practices. Um, but since then, to answer your question, we've got uh, several locations in Bloomington, Illinois, where we have been experimenting with a range of different unmanned aerial vehicles as well as sensors. And we're trying to get a sense for how different vehicles and different sensors could help us do different jobs, different use case jobs. A big part of our R&D experience has been teaming up with Airware to uh, take advantage of the expertise, the technology that you're able to provide. What do you think some of the biggest benefits from using commercial drone technology are going to be? Well, I think for one thing, uh, efficiency. This will allow us to 
as, as efficiently and as quickly uh, as possible respond to situations that, uh, that need a State Farm Claims Professional to be there. It could be a catastrophe kind of a situation where a major storm goes through, or it could be something more routine, like the need to survey a roof to see the extent of some damage, uh, or maybe even an inspection of a, of a property. How do you anticipate that State Farm customers will respond to the use of commercial drones for rooftop claims? I think most State Farm customers are going to be very accepting of the technology. Given the choice of sending somebody up on their roof, potentially a very steep roof, mm -hmm. or sending a vehicle in the air without anybody having to climb up onto that roof to get really good quality images that a customer can see, I think customers are, are by and large going to see the benefit of that and be very accepting. What should we expect in the coming year from State Farm and the insurance industry in general? What you're going to see is a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and excitement for seeing what the potential that this technology has. And where it makes sense, we'll deploy it as soon as we safely and effectively and efficiently can. Jack Weeks, uh, Operations Vice President at State Farm, leading the innovation team. Thanks for being here. Glad to be here and excited about uh, our working relationship, Jonathan.